so hi all uh, so today we are going to start about the ansible okay which is the most important tool in devops environment okay because each and every time whenever you need to scale up some server or scale down some server okay so this ansible tool is must required okay so we'll start with the introduction of ansible then later on i'll explain you about ansible architecture so let me note it down here so and ansible is nothing but it's a configuration management tool okay and uh, in ansible we are going to see mainly about the introduction introduction of ansible okay and uh, in during introduction of ansible only i'll explain you why we required ansible uh instead of puppet uh, is already there in the market okay uh, there are multiple tools right guys available in the market for the configuration management but why ansible is so much of popular correct so i'll explain each and every point uh, regarding this ansible and uh, second thing is the architecture that is the most important architecture of ansible okay so once we done with the architecture of ansible then we'll go ahead and we'll do the configuration and implementation part of ansible so so mostly it will be like your uh, ansible that we can mention here okay so that is installation of ansible on centos or uh, ubuntu okay we can use any flavor okay guys so and the third thing is okay we are going to learn um, in ansible this is the third point okay and in ansible there are multiple things are uh, coming back to back so you need to learn about the ad hoc commands of ansible okay you need to learn uh, not only learning we need to implement as well do the hands on most uh, so most of the task we are going to do in ansible those are like your hands on part okay so how we can create a playbook in ansible how can uh, apart from if you are not doing through playbook uh, simply means if you are uh, doing a executing a single command okay it, that that is only called your ad hoc commands okay what is ansible roles in ansible okay how to write a ansible command so there are multiple things will be there in ansible so uh, before going into all this content okay going into each and every uh, session okay we'll start with the very basics okay what is ansible what do you mean by ansible okay guys if you have any idea whatever it is just explain from i just want to listen from your end that how much uh idea or knowledge do you have about ansible first so ansible is nothing but it's a configuration management tool okay so you need to understand from this point it's a configuration management tool configuration guys if something comes as a configuration means it is related to correct some deployment correct configuration is what means if you are going to deploy a tomcat server or if you are going to uh, deploy nginx server okay in any of the instance or you are going to deploy a jenkin server you are going to deploy you can say uh, docker okay anything it could be okay so those are what those are just a server right those are like your you are uh, configuring that one somewhere right so to configure that one you require a specific tool the reason is the reason behind that one is because that configuration is not only for a single instance suppose if i have to configure one tomcat server guys just listen very carefully okay if i have to configure one tomcat server what i can do is i can directly create a instance and in top of that i can install tomcat server and i can configure its all the configuration file whether it's a server.xml whether it's a 
यूजर डॉट एक्स एम एल फाइल और वट एवर टॉम कैट यूजर डॉट एक्स एम एल फाइल और इट्स रिलेटेड टू इट्स पोर्ट और समथिंग राइट गाइज कंटेक्स डॉट एक्स एम एल सो दैट इज वेरी इजी बट वेन यू लुक एट एट अ बिगर पिक्चर मीन्स वेन आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू सम थाउजेंड इंस्टेंसेस ओके एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू ओके गो एड एंड डिप्लॉय टॉम कैट सर्वर टू ऑल दिस सर्वर how you guys are going to do that are you going to do that one by one no correct it's not at all possible right if it is possible also that is a hell lot of a task correct guys so what you are going to do in that scenario so in that scenario you required a tool which should be able to okay replicate your tomcat server or which should be able to configure your tomcat server to all these thousand instance in a single shot that's what we need correct or if you want to start a service if i tell you have worked in linux right so i i'll say okay, go ahead and stop tomcat server so how you are going to stop that tomcat server shut down dot sh my question to you guys so i was talking about uh, the configuration management tool that is your ansible right guys so i have given you a example of tomcat server or a nginx server right so tomcat server if i said you need to deploy a tomcat server into one instance right so if you have to deploy a tomcat server into one single instance how you guys are going to do that one so uh, what i just wanted to convey here is okay so if you have to deploy a tomcat server to a single instance you can simply go ahead and deploy the tomcat server okay because it won't require that much of a effort right you just need to deploy a single tomcat server into a uh, ubuntu instance okay so you just need to configure a server dot xml file okay or you need to configure a tomcat user dot xml file or you need to configure a context dot xml file right guys but my question is if suppose that is just a single instance but when it comes to some thousand instances will be there where you need to configure your th thousand instance to this tomcat server right so how you are going to do do that task so to complete that task we have configuration management tool in place that is your ansible correct so this is what because you cannot do all these things if it that is like hell lot of a task right you cannot do that one uh, it will be a full headache right if, if it is not headache that is just a kind of a joke right you are doing all those thousands in this automation world okay if you are going to do that one by one right nobody is going to accept that one so this is why we have a tool in place that is called your configuration management tool at the same time if i talk about okay you need to start a service you need to stop a service of a tomcat so how you are going to do that to do that one you need a shutdown dot sh sir if you have to stop the tomcat server you need shutdown dot sh if you want to start a tomcat server you need a startup dot sh right so if same thing if you have to do it for 1000 Uh, or you can say hundred of or two hundred or three hundred of tomcat server. So you need to write a script, or you need to start and stop in a single shot. So this is why we have a tool in place. Whether it's related to your configuration file, whether it's related to your services, okay. Whether you want to scale up the server, scale up the server. Suppose what servers are in place. Suppose we have Jenkins servers, okay. so you can it's not like one single jenkins server you required or you have a uh, nginx server okay so those servers also required some packages means uh, like uh, every time those servers also need to be scale up correct guys that is not a single instance there are multiple servers will be there so for those things we have something which makes your task very easy that is called your configuration management tool it's nothing but it's your ansible guys now you tell me you understand what is ansible configure your con configuration files as well where you can deploy some means application server web server where you can start stop some services whether you want to uh, install some packages on some servers so all the stuffs you can do it 
it's related to your configuration right so you can do it with the sensible okay so guys i am now the next part is before going to the architecture of ansible i'll tell you i have talked about the introduction of ansible but why we need ansible and why it is so popular so i am going to explain you that with the help of one diagram okay so that will be definitely going to help you out okay and why puppet is also in place right chef is also in place some other configuration tool is there but ansible is so much in demand the reason is okay so the reason to get into that one let me draw a diagram this is i'm just giving a name jenkins okay this is your tomcat okay this is your uh, git okay and this is your docker correct and now <coughs> we have ansible here okay now understand as i said clearly in the introduction of ansible that ansible is going to do what ansible is going to do all the configuration part of your server right whether to start a service whether to stop a service whether to configuration whether to deploy some server uh, application server or uh, web server okay or whether to install some packages right guys correct so how working why why we need ansible instead of means why it is so popular the reason behind that one is ansible is always going to use a technique called push technique understand my point okay i am not going to compare with some other tools over here okay but why ansible is so much popular the reason is its push technique guys you have i am going to give you a, a straight forward real time example okay now you need to tell me some elevated road is there okay in that elevated road okay if i am going to ask you uh, you have to pull something forward okay top forward so which technique you are going to use whether you want to push or whether you want to pull so recently you have seen so many volvo buses right guys okay so do you think why this volvo buses has the engine in the back side instead of the engine in the front side earlier the whatever the buses are there the engine should be at front side right and the engine should be your uh, now whatever the buses are coming they are very smooth correct whether it's a elevated road or it's a de elevated road it's a down side right so the reason behind that one is push is much easier easier than pull because it will going to consume more energy when you are going to pull something because entire load has to pull correct so push is much more better technique compared to your pull if you talk about in term of configuration management tool so ansible is going to use the push technique so it's not going to pull something from these servers it's going to push it to all these servers so what will happen here is suppose if it has to scale up this server or it has to uh, push it suppose if he wants to push something to where to docker i'll mention here okay if okay i want to scale up this docker server one requirement came okay that i need this package to be installed in the docker server so how you are going to do that one there is not a single docker server there are some multiple docker or multiple containers so inside this docker if i talk about some multiple containers will be running correct guys so here if suppose some 150 containers running of tomcat or nginx okay and we need to scale up how you are going to do that one so are you going to like you cannot pull something so you need to push or you need to push 
or you if you want to start those tomcat server to this this tomcat servers is what your replicas only correct guys 150 containers is nothing but this is a tomcat replica and just i am telling you here is okay what i am telling here is okay so there are some 150 containers running on your docker server okay and in this docker server 150 containers are nothing but these are your tomcat server or engine okay so just now you need to tell me if i have to start all this tomcat server together okay or i have to stop all this tomcat server together or if some packages i need to install into this all these containers or whether simply just understand these are the blank these are the nothing but these are just a instance these containers are no tomcat server has installed i have to deploy 150 tomcat servers to these containers how i am going to do that so it's totally depend on your push technique in ansible so you can push those file you can start those services you can stop those services while you are pushing from your ansible server to these containers guys you are able to understand so configuration is what configuration is means suppose some patches will be there okay. linux wise if you have gone through linux so in linux so rpm and yum packages will be there right to have to scale up or scale down means what means those this particular docker server need some packages to be installed how we can do that whether you are going to do that with manually you are going to log into that server and you are installing through some command uh, yum install or something like that so you can do it for 10 server maximum 20 servers but if you have to do it for 1000 servers how you are going to do that so you need something which should manage all these things that is your ansible and this is what i was explaining the push technique over here so now the other thing which is very much important here as i said it's going to use your push technique i have given you few examples also related why why push technique is much more better than pull right so now the next thing is in push technique how we are going to push it to this servers so there are two ways to push okay first thing is whether you want to do it with playbook okay second thing is by your ad hoc command ad hoc commands so i'll explain these things one by one don't worry about that playbooks are nothing but these are the yaml files so you have to write a script in yaml okay and you need to push it to this all 150 containers ad hoc command is nothing but it's a single line command that is called your ad hoc command so there are two ways we can push it to this server now this is the part how you can configure this one but the other thing which is very interesting so you know right there is something called master and slave configuration correct if you want to form something so master has to communicate to its slave right so here yes. concept will be like ansible is going to work as a controller okay and these servers which has to be scale up or scale down whether it's a docker server git server tomcat server nginx jenkins okay so in that scenario these will be acting as a agent for this particular controller or this master server so how this agent is going to communicate with ansible server that is very much important so here you no need to deploy anything you no need to configure anything simple is that it's going to communicate with all these agents via ssh secure shell there is no additional port or something is required this is very basic ansible is going to communicate with all these servers whether uh, these all these agents through ssh so there we need to deploy the public and private key 